Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the native Jupyter Notebook experience on VS Code. As a lot of you might know that VS Code has got a notebook extension, but traditionally that notebook extension was available only for Python. But recently VS Code has made it, uh, they have refactored the code so that you can have the same Jupyter Notebook experience on VS Code. So for you to get that Jupyter Notebook experience on VS Code, what you can do is what we are going to look in this video. First of all, this video is not required if you are only working with Python or if you do not want the native Jupyter Notebook experience. But if you want Jupyter Notebook experience or if you want to work on other languages like Julia or R other than Python as well, then this is what you have to follow. The first step is you need VS Code Insider. So first you have to install VS Code Insider. And what is VS Code Insider? VS Code Insider is nothing but the earlier ver early version, uh, something like a nightly version uh, or whatever you would like to call it, a beta version uh, that is not stable, but it is usually released uh, alongside the stable version so that you can actually start playing around with that. Uh, that is what VS Code Insider is. Once you install VS Code Insider, uh, you can uh, get it for the machine that you have got. Once you install VS Code Insider, then uh, VS Code Insider is where you have got the latest Jupyter Notebook. The notebook optimized for Jupyter Notebook, um, refactored, the recently refactored Jupyter Notebook that supports any language. So first thing is uh, download VS Code Insider and uh, if you do not, if you want other languages other than Python as well, then you need to install respective language kernel. For example, if you are working in R, then you need R kernel on Jupyter Notebook. If you are working in Julia, then you need, you need Jupyter, um, Julia kernel for Jupyter Notebook. So I assume that you probably would have had this already because uh, this video is particularly targeted at users who are using Jupyter Notebook with some other languages along with Python and you want the same experience within VS Code because probably VS Code is what you use for software or um, data science development purpose. Once you are done with that, then what we are going to do is we are going to open VS Code and install this Jupyter Notebook extension. So there are multiple ways for you to do this. One, you can uh, go to this URL and then install the Jupyter Notebook extension, the first way. Or you can actually install, uh, you can open VS Code and this is the final notebook. This is how it is going to look like. So if you do not want to go that route, so what you can do is you can go to the extension of Jupyter, uh, sorry, VS Code. You can click the extension section. Let's see. Um, you can open the extension and then you can type what are all uh, extension that you need. So when you install VS Code Insider for the first time, you wouldn't have these two extensions. So you need to first install Python most likely along with python you would also get the noob jupyter notebook extension you don't have to necessarily do that uh, but python is mandatory so after you install python so you would get jupyter notebook so once you are done with these things at this point you have a working editor which is vs code insider and within that editor uh, you have updated jupyter extension which means now you are good to go so let me show you how to get this kind of notebook and also probably I'll show you how it would look if you do not have this notebook. So let me first show you the difference between this notebook and then the previous notebook experience that you usually get in the normal stable version of VS Code. So let me open the normal Jupyter notebook and then we'll see how that uh, extension looks like uh, Jupyter, uh, sorry, normal VS Code, the stable version of VS Code and then the Jupyter, code, uh, Jupyter notebook on that looks like. Basically, it's not even a Jupyter notebook. It's a notebook uh, experience within um, VS Code. So once you open the notebook, uh, sorry, VS Code, you can click uh, Command Shift P that will help you create a new Jupyter notebook. And once you click that, it's going to install, uh, it's going to show you the first, um, the notebook, Jupyter notebook that is available on the stable version of VS Code, which uh, supports only Python. So you can um, still um, edit other languages but you may not be able to use um, other languages. So let me open it again. Shift, Command Shift P and then click Jupyter Notebook. It's connecting to the kernel. So like we discussed before, if you want other languages, it is mandatory from your side that you have uh, other languages, uh, the kernel for other languages installed. Later, it's still connecting to the kernel. 
so you can see that it is connected to the kernel and uh, this is how it looks like so it, it's going to show you a cell it says uh, server is connected locally you can also connect it with the remote jupyter uh, server but in this case it's connected locally it is yet to display the cells but you can actually see how it looks so it has got a stop button it has got um, run all the cells cells above cells below refresh the kernel and uh, save the notebook and it is still loading but you can see how it looks so this is how uh, the current version of the um, jupyter notebook on um, a stable version of vs code would look like so you can change markdown here so i've got a separate video about this uh, i'll link that video in the description you can check it out but this is how it is but what changes is let's close this we don't need this at this moment what changes is this very similar jupyter note very similar experience like uh, jupyter the actual jupyter notebook that you experience on web or uh, jupyter lab so that is what the latest vs code insider has got so this is vs code insider and uh, the same way uh, we open jupyter notebook we can open it here i'm going to show you that um, you probably um, you can go here and then press command shift p which is to uh, invoke the command section and then you can click you can type jupyter in here and you can see what are all options you have uh, related to jupyter so in this case we want uh, to create a new blank jupyter notebook but you can also open you can do a lot of things but in this case i'm going to open a new and you can see the interface so if you are familiar with google collab uh, if you are not i've got a video about it i can link it if you are familiar with google collab you can you would have probably noticed that so this is a very similar to google collab environment where you have got a code button uh, uh, marked on the moment you click code uh, it is going to insert a new cell and uh, you can run it so and also the other good thing is you can have uh, as much as kernels that you want so in this case on my machine i've got uh, uh, i've got julia i've got python and i've got r so for example if i want to do something in python let's say i want to say um, i i don't want to import any packages maybe i'll just uh, uh, write something quick print oops sorry i am typing on extension to write print print mm, 200 10 and uh, when i do when i execute it still getting executed you can run it here as well it's still connecting to the kernel it is not successfully connected to the kernel still connecting to the kernel and uh, you can see it is running and you can see that the number has been printed uh, like multiple times um, you can run it you can see it's going to display that number so python successfully installed and you can see that and uh, let's say now you want to switch to r uh, you cannot do multiple languages on the same notebook like uh, probably if you are familiar with Databricks you might have seen that kind of thing you you cannot probably do that uh, but yeah something you, but you can change the language so iris is a popular data set in R I'm going to show how you can uh, plot plot for iris data set which is uh, let me click plot in this case uh, it's now connecting to R kernel so it says plot is not defined plot is not defined um let's let's see one more time i think it was trying to execute as r so that is why uh, it was saying plot is not defined now we have to change it uh, you can see that the plot is plot is shown uh, so if you want the syntax change you can click the language and then select the language that you want so that you get the syntax of that language but uh, you can see that the plot plot is available now you can click the plot um, the plot is available here so if you want a different plot and you can say histogram of um, iris dollar in this case uh, sepal length or maybe even in in fact uh, one one step before that you can just put head of empty cars let's say that's head is another command that you uh, that you would see on uh, so i think i have to change the language here i can change the language here to say that i want r um, but if you don't want that to get executed on the local terminal then you can just um, um, let me select r 
R. Okay, it's going to switch to R kernel, but uh, I can just click this. And then you can see that it is getting executed. You can see the progress bar and it is showing the data frame in a very, very nice, beautiful way. Uh, so earlier, if you had to use R within VS Code, you had to install the language server and then use it. But I think um, this this uh, initiative uh, of uh, the VS Code team to refactor the entire VS Code uh, Jupyter Notebook experience to match it with the native Jupyter Notebook experience is really handy for a lot of people. It's uh, it's quite awesome. It is a good uh, feature. So let me just quickly uh, show you a plot, uh, which in this case is a plot of um, Iris and uh, let me run it and then you can see there is going to be a plot and uh, also as you know that uh, the whole point of jupyter notebook is that you can have markdown and uh, code so you can just go to the top click markdown and say thanks um, vs code and then run it and then if you want another markdown you can just say video by uh, one little coder um please subscribe let me let me add a cta here um please subscribe i'm grateful okay uh if you want it uh, like a second level title you can make it like this so that's the main idea of this uh so go to vs code insider you can follow down the steps um so you can go to vs code insider first download vs code insider then uh if you want any other language other than python make sure you have got the language kernel installed on your machine so this is not related to only vs code but you need that kernel on your machine once you are done with that make sure that you have a jupyter extension installed so by default you wouldn't have python extension so if you install python extension you would also get jupyter extension if you don't want python then you can just install um, uh, jupyter extension and by default uh, it's going to show the native notebook experience and if you do not want to the native uh, notebook experience and you want the old uh, jupyter notebook experience then you can go to the json setting the preference and then you can change this but i don't think um, if you want this you're going to use vs code inside probably you would do it on vs code itself so that is something that you can start and it also has some uh, uh, tutorial about how to start the notebook so like we saw control shift p or command shift p uh, you can start a new notebook and then you can select different kernel so you can go here and then and click notebook select kernel and that will change the kernel you can see that it would change the kernel and then um, you cell language you can also change the cell language uh, clicking this this box you can change the cell language so this is uh, this is a really um, really handy uh, feature from vs code uh, and i'm so happy that um, vs code is taking step to include native experience that can make vs code a software development platform um, more uh, ubiquitous and also language ag agnostic because notebooks um, vs code, jupyter notebook on vs code was only available for python and now that it can be used with other languages make it uh, a very strong uh, happy candidate for a lot of people uh, i'm one of those happy people and uh, please take this um, out uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section if not um, 